Hey guys, it has been a minute, but welcome back to our Omega Crystal series. I am, of course, Icy Wolf, even though I don't look like myself right now. I think somebody was messing with the cosplay mod while I was uh, off and about. Yes, I know I have missed about three uploads. And to be honest with you, the reasoning is, well, I've been preparing a property for the winter. It took a little bit longer than what I, I thought it would. I prepared enough videos, I thought, for three days, but I ended up being gone six. And I apologize. I uh, didn't mean that to happen, but I really didn't have a chance to upload any videos. Other than the, the three that I uploaded in a row. But anyways, guys. um, Yeah. Last episode, I think that was the one when we tamed the Omega Necromancer Metal Wyvern. This thing is amazing. Breathes metal. Um, very, very cool creature. Um, I think there is something we can give him, though. In the, in the uh, Zakarian Critters mod, I think. Um, skins. Heck. I think there's a... There's a Bionic Wyvern skin. I don't know if I really want to do it to him. But I'm kind of curious what he looks like. But there's a Ravenger one now, too. And it These are new. There's a Denonicus one, too. But I think that was already there. Because uh, it's just a, a raptor. Interesting. I kind of want to see what this... Uh, this wyvern skin looks like on it. I know I put these on like every one of our creatures that ha has the availability for it. But I don't know. I just, it gives it a little more. I'm not into the purple. It allows me to cover up the, the colors. Um. Yeah, I guess it. Yeah, it's just a void wyvern. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. And if you do enjoy this, please, you know. You know, smack that uh, like button and, uh, you know, share it with your friends. Turn on your notifications. I don't care. I, I heard that they got rid of the dislike button or something like that. I don't I don't really understand what's going on with that, but I don't pretend to, to know everything. But I am going to fix my character. And then I am going to... Um, we are going to today. We're going to try this this uh, Omega Beacon out with... with uh, an Omega Soul, and see what happens when we, uh, we're supposed to be guaranteed a creature, and if we can get a cool Omega Ice Storm creature, that'd be awesome. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna fix my, uh, my, myself, and I will be back with you. Okay, so I kind of saw this, this area right here the other day when I was just kind of, you know, trying to look for some stuff to tame, but... Today, we are going to, what do you got in there? Oh, geez. Um, I didn't think about this. This thing has a lot of things that we use. Um, hmm. About it, though, I think. Yeah. On the leggy translings. Um, we're gonna throw out our... What in the world? Okay. Um, some weird stuff. I don't have a lot of Omega, Omega Souls, so we gotta hope for the best on this one. I said I was gonna try this out, and I, uh, really am interested in trying it out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take the soul, put it in this Omega Beacon...
Sacrifice souls to lure enemies that can be either killed. All enemies will be hostile. More souls increase the chance of a higher tier. So what I... I don't know if this is how this works. Let me uh, let me look at this. Um, bosses. Hmm. Okay. I don't know where I read that this was how you did it. I remember it being a thing. Perhaps. Hope this isn't a boss. Oh. Alpha Ice Storm Jerboa. That happened. Okay, so that guarantees the type if you put that in there. Okay, I'll, I'm just gonna put 90 of these in here and hope. Oh, put 91. Hopefully something good comes out of there. Freaking kidding me. Um, okay. The reason why we're doing elemental is because I have so many elemental souls. I think as long as we don't put a hundred in there, we're fine, right? Hmm. Hopefully this works. Ultimate water calicus ah, trash. Yep, so that didn't work very well at all. Like bad. Hmm. That is unfortunate. We'll put you away. And we'll pick you up. I was thinking maybe we should leave it there, but I remember the warning that if you leave that out, they uh, attract uh, some kind of titan thing. Um, Necromancer. Well, I guess we're going to be searching. That sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, we're in a good area to be searching. Um, yeah. We're going to be probably searching for a while. But I haven't done any searching today at all. I'm dimensional. Interesting. All right. I'll bring it back when we find something. So, surprisingly enough, I've never seen a tech ravenger on the map before. I I was I just looked on the on the Zakarian uh critters page to see if there was an update. And yeah, in the last couple days there was an update. So, interestingly enough, these guys were just added and uh we I I didn't really think I'd be taming in a an omega rage creature, really. But that thing has almost a million health. It's a 166. I, I love Ravagers. I've said this in the past. They are one of my favorite creatures in Ark. But, um, yeah, that thing, that thing's got to be tough. Got to be tough. So my thoughts are, um, I'm wondering if I could pick it up. I'm, I've not really dealt with the, uh, the brutals at all or anything yet. So I'm hoping we can. Um, but yeah, we'll we get it. We did. Usually, when there's ravengers, there's a couple of them. I don't know. 
I've been seeing a lot of Ravengers and uh, the Zakarian variant. I don't know what it's. I don't remember what it's called, but I've been seeing those around. Yeah, it just came. I just came from over there. I, I saw a couple pterodons that were actually Omega. Um. I don't know. I don't think I want to tame those. Really, what I'm looking for is something to fight bosses with that can be reliable. And I'm not even sure if this thing can be reliable. It's a it's a Ravenger. Um, I don't remember what our saddle is that we have for these guys, but I don't think it's a group. It's a really good one. Uh, and this is also just a uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's a tech one, so it's gonna probably be hard to find another. I get it please tell me I got it the first try did not I could probably just take out the the magma sore and try to knock it out I don't know how powerful it's gonna be to be honest in it could wreck the magma sore it has a lot of life I, did, I thought about dropping them right then and there, but I was like, yeah. What I can do is... I suppose I could net it, right? Do I have any darts? I have arrows. I think it'll be able to jump out of this no matter what. Yeah, it'll it's it's definitely able to not jump out of the one side. Um, I don't know what I have. I don't have anything arrow wise. I am gonna use the magma sword, but I'm gonna be smart about it. And Can't hit it. May have been a bad idea. I have another idea. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. I've not been able to hit it. Um, I'm not going to risk anything. It just can't be our solution every time we want to aim something. A very strong creature. One point six million torpor is a lot of torpor. Yeah. I might do it. Okay. Yeah. Um like I said I don't know how I feel about this. I'm uh 
this guy in in the end ultimately doesn't have a a place on her team at the very end because from what I understand there's a thing called a group god and the group gods make it so you get all the types of that group well the group god the that group is the rage group right and I'm not 100% on this. This is what I, I was debating this the other day with uh, some of the people that play on the server. Um, but if the group god gains all the powers of it, does that mean it gets the uncontrollable, like our Bloodstalker that we had? That, you know, it just ran around and attacked everything and I couldn't ride it or anything like that because that's what you're not allowed to ride them? I said, I, I, I don't... I think that's a creature I really want to I really want to have in the end, you know. Cuz I think it goes well, you, you face the uh you face the bosses. And once you're done with the bosses, you move on to the uh onto the gods. And I think there's uh one for each species. What I was reading on the wiki Oh, this is all garbage. Stuff to grind up. Um, yeah. Should have took the portal back. Base. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent on uh how strong, or how fat, or or how strong a creature will be if it's just at god stage. That's it. You know, if it can't get its group god form. And what's the point having it? That's just my thought, you know. Will it be good for taking down bosses? I, I don't even know that because it's, uh... I mean, it's just a Ravenger. It's not like it's a Rex or it's a Spino, but... Each creature is his own, you know? It might be really good. Yep. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, this is, uh... Kind of the kind of thought process I have is like I don't I don't see the point in it if I can't use it you know I'm sure the uncontrollable is amazing and it has a place but for me I don't know I'm I'm thinking I I kind of wanna wanna stay away from that but we'll try out the Ravenger we'll tame it up it's 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 really. Third Omega I've seen today. Oh, what's, what's that? Oh, it's a Prime Metal. Dang it. Oh my gosh, that's like the second- that's like the second Manic Armor I've seen. I mean, I guess we've seen other ones, little- little crappy ones, but... That one is, uh, the first, like, higher up one we've seen. I don't know. Using this. Crap. Okay, so I gotta make the kibble. We'll go back and we'll, uh... Check out the Ravenger here in a minute. But yeah, first I gotta make the kibble, and I'll bring you guys back once it's all done and everything. It's all boring. Alright, so we have... This is Skylands. We have... Our Mega Kibble. Alright. And we have a Ravager Saddle. Not a great one. I think it'll be okay. I am actually going to put you away, dude. Yeah, we haven't killed anything with it yet. So... Let's go test this guy out. He's not like super fast. But you know, he's not like horrible or anything. Can't really complain. How much damage do you do? 21,000 <laughs> in one bite is not horrible. 
Okay. Oh, shoot. That's a little better. I think there's a something over here. Where are you? Beta Soul. I hate these soul creatures. So far, I mean, it's it's not like super crazy damage wise. I was expecting maybe a little more, but that is it is what it is, you know. I I do not think this is gonna be the creature that we take the boss fights. I really don't. Um, I mean, I could put. Jeez, you could... according to the facts on the Discord page. You can only put 88 points into health and damage. Otherwise, the, the bosses apparently negate anything past 88 points. So, there's that. What should we do now? Yeah, see, he only got 3,000 from that little, little bit. Come on, dude. What is it doing? Not dying. Yeah, this is like one thing I do not like about these creatures is the uh, fact that you can't hit them. I don't know. I know what creature I would like for, you know, boss fights, but it ain't gonna happen. It's such a rare, it's such a rare creature to spawn. It's on top of the 1% uh, of all Omega spawn, of all spawns are, are Omega. Why isn't this thing not like hurting me or? A Giga would also be cool to take into fights, but, you know, it ain't gonna happen. Another creature. There, like, I think there's like two Gigas that spawn on this map at a time, and... Getting a, getting a chance for an Omega version of that to happen is like, almost impossible. Alright. That happened. It's a Boogeyman. I don't know. This guy's kind of... I wouldn't say he's trash. He, he's definitely not trash. He does more damage than the... Uh, than the Metal Wyvern does, I think. Like I was saying, you can only have 20, 88 levels into health and 88 levels into... Uh, Melee, so that's something I'll have to be on the watch out for. I responds like badly. I don't think it's anything to do with him. It's just, I guess I don't think Ravengers are really a creature I would consider taking to a, a boss battle. Anything good out here? Yeah. I think this is 20 levels in here now. 
not doing over 30,000. That's a, a lot of levels. Not doing over 30,000. Hmm. It's a cool creature. It really is. I think this is a really well done tech creature, to be honest. It looks really good. Again, I mean, I'm a little disappointed in how powerful it is. That, that's pretty much what we're probably going to be doing for the next couple episodes, just trying to find something that's powerful enough to take on bosses and then leveling it up and, uh, you know, getting the proper saddle for it. We have a good saddle for a band of armor. We have a good saddle for a lot of different things. It's just a matter of finding those creatures. I do not have a good wreck saddle, which is, you know, okay and okay to me. So, we will find one. The wrecks might be what we end up doing. Well. See. Why can't they hit me? I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to hit me, the rider, but for some reason these uh, Omega ones can't hit me. Hmm. This is interesting. Fact of the matter is, is we really haven't done too much with this guy. Oh yes, and if you haven't noticed, I kind of changed it in my head a little bit. Um, going more for the wolf look than the uh, mana armor. I don't know if I like it yet or not. But, uh, I don't know. I, I thought it looked, it looked interesting. Like I said, I don't know if I like it. I think I like the uh, Mana Garmer head better. I just changed it up because, you know, yeah. What's one episode of having a Mana, a Direwolf head instead of a Mana Garmer one? The Mana Garmer one's kind of more fitting. Water. Got a drop that had water in it, did I? Oh. I wish there was something that we could fight on here that would give us max level, like max our character creature out right away. I wonder if there's experience potions. Huh. I'll die on another poison creature. What in the world? <laughs> that was that was weird. That really was. That shark just came out of nowhere. The land shark. But guys, I think we've seen everything we need to from this creature. It's not something I'm gonna use, to be honest. That's okay. That's how things go. That's how you learn. You definitely take those Megalodon teeth. Yeah. And the polymer. Yeah. How much is this guy doing damage wise again? I. That's 31 into damage. And this guy could be a boss fighter. Okay, so we take one bite. Yeah, this guy's doing a lot more damage than that. Than... Except for that, I hate that. I hate that attack so much. <laughs> but guys, I'm going to go back to base. I will meet you there. Oh, I don't think I can do this. This This just doesn't look right. I don't know why. It just looks too innocent, I think. Yeah. Um, give me a second. Okay, that's better. Uh, I don't know. The wolf the wolf head just didn't look good. Um, but yeah. Eh, Ravager's alright. I wouldn't say it's the best creature uh, we've ever tamed. Um, it's, it's mediocre. I thought it would be better being a brutal, but... I don't know. I guess it is what it is, right? We'll find a creature. We will. And uh, it's going to be freaking awesome. Whatever it ends up being, I'm I'm looking forward to it. 
And hopefully, uh, you know, fingers crossed next episode, it might be that episode, you know. Guys, if you enjoyed this at all, please like, comment, subscribe. I uh, try to upload every day. I apologize again to the regulars that enjoy these videos for not uploading the last three days. I really had, it was really out of my hands. I uh, apologize again, of course. Guys, uh, got a lot done today. Kind of, kind of learning more and more about the mod every day. But guys, I'm Icy Wolf. And I'll be seeing ya. Bye.